it's David and I'm out in the Redneck Garage trying to pick up all this junk. Uh, today, I was just going to do a quick walk around of the Jeep TJ project. Um, take a look at the TJ, give you quick impressions of what's good and what's bad. Um, some of the challenges that I have, what things I need parts for, that kind of thing. So let's do that right now. Okay, and I thought that the truck was really uh, was supposed to be green, and it was green at one time. But somebody's put some, like, I don't know, it looks like roll-on bed cover stuff on it. Look at it. Not real thick. I think I can sand most of it off. Um, the two front fenders are toast. I've already ordered two replacement front fenders for these. So that's that's excellent. I don't have to worry about the stuff there. Um, the other stuff is going to take some sanding to get it off. Um, there's not a lot of rust on the body itself, except for down here. You can see right there on the bottom of the quarters. Pretty typical places for that. Uh, there's one dent in the, the windshield up here, which should be easy to fix. It's not very thick. The coating's not very thick at all. I've been underneath and looked at the frame, and it's not too awful bad. There's some flaking on it. The bottom of it isn't all rusted out on the body mounts are pretty good shape there's no holes in the frame and you can see some flaking so we're going to be attacking um, the rust the tub itself is in pretty good shape too there's no holes where the body mounts are and that's your first guess so we are going to be working on some of this rust on the frame uh, overall but as far as sheet metal goes it looks pretty good the only really bad spot on the whole truck is this back piece where the where the uh, bumper goes and maybe it was sitting for a long time where the water just collected there. But I'm going to have to get a repair piece for this rear right up here where that's gone. But the other part of it behind the wheel, that frame is in pretty good shape. So all that to say, I'm pretty happy with that part of it. There's some rust down here on the rear, which I'll have to repair with a piece of sheet. And I'm probably going to put a guard over the back like I did the other Jeep. Once you do the body work, it just makes it easier. Um, this tailgate is just toast but he sent me a spare tailgate that isn't rusted at all the yellow one here so that's really good um, the tub itself on the inside is in really good shape the top the top is in excellent shape it's a best top and it's really nice there's some rust you can kind of see in that bottom quarter um, right down there, that'll have to be fixed. Um, front cowling is good, not any rust there. The interior of the Jeep is actually just needs some cleaning, a little cleaning up, and it's in really good shape. Um, it's missing one thing around the gear shifter, needs a good cleaning. No rust in the tub, there's one rust spot right there on the driver's side where water was sitting and that'll be easy enough to fix just put a patch panel in there weld it in and be good to go and then I will go ahead and um, on this one I'll do like my other Jeep the YJ and spray it with the uh, bed liner on the inside so overall I'm real happy with the Jeep as far as like for a thousand bucks man you can't beat that um, you can see on this side the frame isn't eaten through should be able to repair it we're going to use some Eastwood repair products on the frame and and should be able to just go on down the road with that so here's the question guys I'm thinking about uh, I'm wanting to get some full doors for it and maybe a hard top if I can find one for winter driving right and then in the summer I can put this back on it and I was kind of getting hoping to get some suggestions on that from you guys on what colors you think it should be I'm kind of leaning towards a dark blue pearl because that would still match the tan top if I wanted to use this tan top get full doors and of course that would match the the truck itself but in the summer I could go ahead and put these half these uh, these doors on and drive it around with that which would be pretty cool to have a full set of both wheels aren't bad they're stock wheels stock Jeep wheels which are fine with me I like those okay um, got to get some new lug nuts yesterday I ordered the two fenders um, ordered some Eastwood rust protection I ordered some new hood latches the engine compartment needs to be cleaned up pressure washed 
Um, and once I get the motor out, I'll treat the frame and everything up in that section there, but it's just really just kind of dirty. Um, no big rust spots here on the front cowling. So that's what we're going to be working on next, is pulling the motor out. And you can see that bracket on the top. For $1,000, I can go to Jeep Air and get the whole complete kit, compressor, hoses, and all, to put air conditioning on this, including the controller. And I may do that just because if I buy a hard top and the full doors, then you could really have a pretty nice vehicle during the summer when it gets really hot, put the hard top back on during the hottest parts of the, the summer. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Jeep. It looks... For, uh, for the price that I paid, I'm really happy with it. It's going to be some work. Um, this rear quarter and that bottom piece around the bumper are going to be the worst spots. You can see underneath there, that was really the only part that was real bad. Um, the plastic, the fender wells, I've got a new Eastwood product I'm going to try on that. Some plastic refinishing product that's uh, supposed to make it look brand new and kind of pricey, but we'll see. We'll get new lights for the front. Uh, turn signal markers. Whoever put this stupid bed liner in, which it doesn't matter on the fenders, but whoever put the stupid bed liner in really made it a lot more work for me to refinish this part. But I'm hoping that it'll sand off pretty easy. Not bad shape though. Not bad shape at all for, for what it is. So, we got some parts coming in. For that, I'll step back so you can see the whole thing. You can see that that front tire is a 195 and that's a 205 and on the other side is a 225 so that's why it kind of sits a little bit funny imagine that so i'm looking at some new tires probably going to go with 30s or 31s on it and here's the toyota that's going to be the project that we're working on next clean out the garage still got my propane heater uh gonna work out there tonight see if i can get some of this stuff put away thrown away all that crap So that's about it. The sun's starting to go down. Of course, I worked all day and wasn't able to do much, but I did get on the internet. Woo! And here's what I ordered. Last night, I ordered some uh, Eastwood rust protection products for the frame. A lot of the problems with the Jeep frame, whether it's a YD or a Cheese J or any of the Jeeps, really, is that they corrode internally, right? A lot of times, they won't rust from the outside in. They'll rust from the inside out. Eastwood makes a lot of great products to encapsulate the rust, to convert the rust. So I ordered, I don't know, $100, $120 worth of stuff for that to go ahead and start working on the frame once I get going on the Jeep itself, getting the motor pulled out, things like that. I went ahead and ordered two fenders. There was a company in, I think, Massachusetts maybe, that had a uh, set of fenders, front, right and left, for $199 shipped to my house. Now... One of the advantages of having a Jeep, a project, if you don't have a Jeep and you're going to do a project, right, here's something to think about. Jeep parts a lot of times are really inexpensive. Where else could you get two fenders shipped to your house for 100 bucks a piece? I don't know of many vehicles that you can do that. So, bonus, got two new fenders coming. It would be kind of cool if y'all could give me some suggestions, um, advice on what you think, right, if you think the midnight blue pearl metallic would be kind of a cool color, which I'm kind of leaning towards, or are you set dead set on something else? And it isn't going to be aqua blue or pink. Just I'm just telling you right now. No, that's not going to happen. But with the tan top, I'm kind of limited in the colors that I want to do. And I don't want to throw the tan top away if I don't have to. Um, I really do want to look at getting a hard top and two hard and two to the full doors for winter use. So this Jeep could actually be kind of my winter Jeep or really super hot summer Jeep if I put an air conditioner in it. The op, the uh, the possibilities right now, you know, are kind of up in the air. First thing i got to do is get the motor rebuilt, put some gas in it, see if I can get it turned around in the driveway, backed up towards the garage door, so I can actually get my cherry picker and pull the motor out of it. And that's going to be our next series of videos, probably, is starting on taking all that stuff off the front. Another thing that I bought, which will be in the next video, was a super cool Jeep car cover. Not like the just the semi-covers, but I mean, this covers the whole thing. So... 
when I start taking stuff off the Jeep and it looks like crap in the driveway because I've got you know the whole front cowling, all that stuff taken off, I can just drape this over. My neighbors don't have to look at it. Coach department just keeps driving on by. Not going to give me a hassle. So that's going to be put on here. So I'm excited about the Jeep. For the price that I paid, um, even with shipping to the house, $1,600, try to find a TJ that didn't just completely rust it out, which this one's not. It's got one bad spot right there in the back fender that you could restore. So I think it's a great purchase. Get the motor rebuilt and go from there. That's where we're at on the TJ. I'm David from Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.